Hey, what's up everybody? So, we are in the midst of Hurricane Florence, and with all that, me never missing an opportunity to film something, I'm going to be making a standpipe redirect with a, like the first water diversion thingy DIY at home deal for my 275 gallon tote. Yeah, I need it higher. Don't have time for that right now. So we're going to build it on the flattest surface we have. We'll raise it later. Uh, and here we go. We got our four inch, two inch right here. This is what we're going to be using with a uh, 90 degree at the bottom to clean it out really well. Uh, so I've already made my four foot mark, so I'm going to start cutting. It's ugly, but you're not going to see it. End there, female end, male end there for the screw here. This is for our clean out. After that first rain, we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll be able to drain after the rain stopped, and we'll be able to drain off a whole bunch of the shingle crap we're going to get off the roof. This piece will go here. It's also going to help me keep it up. Measure. The piece of pipe is about 32 inches long. 30 inches long. Am I mistaken? I actually do need to cut my stand pipe thing here. So, we're going to cut it about here. See how that fits in right there. Let's, I'll show you a little bit better here. That fits in right there. Okay. And then all the way to the bottom. So, theory water from that nasty roof all the way down goes and fills this tube here. And I'll have it capped off there. But and then all that water fills up to there, and then there's my spillover, two inch pipe spillover straight down to there. And then, after it's all done raining and stuff, you can unscrew right there, and that will release all the soot and crap. You guys don't have a a bunghole what they call a bunghole key 
you can use any kind of pliers to get it loose. I use needle nose. So I just put a fit to it. That kind of does just fit right into it. So if we do that, it should make it look somewhat nice. Somewhat nice. All right, now we've got to screw this down here. Not worried about too tight. So that's tight enough. There to there. Now 11 inches. So let's cut 11 inches of pipe. Hey guys, there's 11 inches of pipe later. We'll uh, connect that to that. And move it down and there we go. Let's just show you what we've, what we've done and where we're at. So now, roof all the way down, boom, hits there, comes all the way down to there. That's hopefully where all the grit, gra crap, and trash collect. Water, 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 clean water. Pfft. Less crappy water in there. That, dear friends, is how you very quickly take PVC, turn it into a rainwater diverter for the dirty water to be collected down here in that four inch section and divert all the cleaner water into this two inch pipe here from the roof to your water container storage here. 275 gallons for flushing toilets and later on water in the garden. Glad we didn't cut it yet to turn it into the fish tank. All right, guys, hope you weather the storm well. Florence is coming. Hope you're prepared. See you guys later.